Greetings everyone, so uh, my name is Xiao Tao, but uh, my friend or call me Robin, so you can call me Robin as well if you want. Uh, I, be, I will be teaching this class called uh, AZ-103, so this is one uh, uh, course that's targeting the certification exam AZ-103. It's about the Microsoft Azure Administrator. So uh, this is a new certification program that Microsoft has been doing since the end of the last year. So if you know before that Microsoft has one, uh, I will say the exam pass, that's the MCSA, MCSC, or known as MCSD, right? If you're going for a developer. But at the beginning of last year, December, so Microsoft started ruling out this new called role-based certification, the starting with the uh, Office 65. So there used to be an exam, MCSA, called M, uh, Office 65, right? But now that one is being decommissioned and replaced by uh, the one called MS-100 and or 200, 300 or 900 level has been replaced with that one, right? So uh, uh, I will give a brief introduction on the exam later. So let me finish my next slide first. So hello, so this is my name, Xiao Tao, and uh, uh, I'm a uh, MCSE on Windows Server 2012 and uh, hold a MCSE last year on the uh, Azure Infrastructure and Plot Platform which has been decommissioned by Microsoft as well. So uh, I also am a Microsoft certified trainer, uh, just being certified last year. Uh, so uh, that's why I've been teaching classes. So I'm now a tech lead at Microsoft, which is a company located in uh, headquarters in Shanghai, but we have offices in North America and Europe and Japan as well. And I have uh, more than three years experience in deploying, helping the customers and partners deploying Office 65. So, and I have also two plus years, uh, almost close to three years as well, to uh, uh, teaching and mentoring uh, IT admins and end users on how to use Office 365. Mainly it's IT admin. So I don't have much experience on end users. So, uh, but uh, yeah, I occasionally also do that as well. So that's me at home teaching this class. So uh, myself is, I'm a huge fan of Deadpool. I have some uh, Deadpool cap, hat, uh, hoodies and everything. All right, so let's back to it. So about this exam role, right? So let's browse into this one first. And uh, you can notice this exam page, oh, certification page is quite different from the, the one you saw before, right? So this is the new uh, badge or logo of the certification you will get when you pass one of these. So the old uh, one that's still there, so don't worry if you go to productivity, and it's you do not select role base, right? So, uh, uh, sorry, I think it's SQL Server. You can see the uh, MCSA or MCSA is still available, uh, but if you browse into some of the exams, uh, this one doesn't say, but some will say, okay, we will decommission this exam in, uh, retire this exam in, you know, sometime like the, the one I saw, the one on MCSA offers device decommissioned on. March 31st, so end of March, it was decommissioned and replaced with a new one, right? So let me go back to my previous one. And so for folks that already took those exams, don't worry, it's not like uh, it's invalid. It just uh, we have a Microsoft has a new exam model for you to uh, to browse and uh, learning. And if you already have one, they have this transition exam. So I will introduce later. So now they are called this role-based, right? Role-based, and uh, our focus is on the uh, Azure. So click Azure. Oops, sorry, my bad. Yeah. So these are the exam that's being uh, it's available for the Azure category. It's uh, this one is similar to the, uh, the the role model before. So if you want to go to certain level, let's say it's uh, you can see there are expert level, associate level, and fundamental level. So the fundamentals is equal to the MTA before. So uh, technically speaking, they're uh, very easy. So they're not a prerequisite of any exams. Uh, so they're mainly for some uh, like sales guys. So they have the basic understanding of these products, right? So the associates is the same as before, and expert is the same as the MCSE. So this is three levels still there. So this one we're gonna uh, teaching as the uh, uh, natural based, yeah. Okay, 
it's this one, Azure 103, uh, right? AZ 103, Microsoft Azure Admin, right? So if uh, some folks you have may have learned or heard or took the exam as AZ100, AZ101, right? So unfortunately, this one's been retired on May 1st, as I introduced before. So even it's a new exam, they just retired after three or four months, unfortunately. So now it's a good news is these two exam has been merged into one, which is AZ103. So you don't have to take two. I took one exam, you will get the uh, exam uh, pass uh, email and the badge. So this doesn't mean you earn the administrator. There are some prerequisites as well, right? So there, you can notice there's also a transition exam. What's the transition exam, right? So if you previously took the 70-533, which is, uh, yeah, this one, the one I took last year. So if you took this one, then, because um, this one is no longer available to talk and uh, retired. So if you want this new certificate, you have to take the transition exam and you don't have to take the 101. So it's uh, uh, a little, uh, un, I don't, I won't call it unfair, but uh, yeah, because it's a new category of exam anyway, right? It involves knowledge that's not being involved before. So that that's why you have to take it. Cool. Uh, let me just browse back to my PowerPoint, right? So this, Role based, right? So this one is uh, for cloud administrators who manage the cloud service. You know, span that involves cloud storage, networking, and compute cloud capabilities, and with a deep understanding of each service across the full IT lifecycle. And uh, yeah, so uh, not much to say on this one, right? So just uh, if you are cloud uh, IT or your company is looking to move into cloud or do a hybrid cloud or just looking to just uh, uh, in, uh, extend your local network or uh, servers into cloud, right? So this is the correct class for you. Uh, we do have some prerequisites, right? And not like anyone can talk. This is the level 100. You can treat that's the highest level, the expert level, right? It's not associates. So this one is you have to have some on-premises knowledge on virt uh, virtualization, uh, virtual machines, networking, and hard disk. So if you do not have, so my advice is you just start learning some uh, uh, server knowledge. So that's actually the uh, the path I designed for myself. So bef uh, when I become an IT, right? So I I, I want to know, uh, sure, I want to move to cloud, but I know the cloud is based on on-prem technology. So I have to master whatever on-prem uh, before I move into that. So uh, do your on-prem classes and uh, come back and learn this. And also with the uh, network knowledge we require is, you know, you know, basic TCP IP, so uh, uh, DNS, so all those MX record, A record, etc. So you know VPNs, and you know firewalls, and you know some basic encryption technologies. Uh, basically, I would say if you have the knowledge of CCNA, uh, that's okay. I don't, we don't require CCNP or IE. Uh, levels to to learn this. Uh, CCNA will suffice, and I would say the 30 to 40 percent of the CCNA knowledge is enough, and also you have know the uh, you have to know the Active Directory concepts. So what's a domain forest, tree domain, child domain, etc. You have to know what is Kerberos. Basically, Kerberos in a way it's uh, you have a line of sight of the Active Directory, right? And also the LDAP. So we have to know that's basically it's back to the server knowledge, right? Okay, and you have to know the uh, have the understanding of the really uh, of the DR, disaster recovery, and backup and restore operations. So yeah, uh, about this score, some objectives, right? So uh, we will be using the Azure portal, the portal.azure.com, Cloud Shell, uh, uh, Azure PowerShell, CLI, and ARM templates. We'll be using this for. Uh, I will say not much of the ARM templates. So this is not a really production training, right? This is the uh, class training targeting this exam. Uh, we'll be doing some uh, videos on the side is to give you a feel of the production environment, but uh, for this course, uh, ARM templates not the one we are focusing. All right, and we'll be uh, create and uh, scale the virtual machines we have, and we will be implementing Azure storage accounts, blob storage, Azure files, shared access keys. This we will use a lot, and uh, configure the virtual network. So uh, the virtual network do uh, occupy majority of this class. Um, yeah, 
virtual network, yeah, VNet. And the uh, data replication backup files, folders, and virtual machines. Uh, again, to the VNet, uh, the connectivity solutions, the VNet pairing, VNet to VNet connections, side to side connections, except route, etc. Uh, I do have the apology to make first. So uh, we do involve the cloud stream of some connections and the setup with VPNs. But since I'm physically located in China, uh, in Shanghai to be specific, we, uh, our government has uh, strong restrictions on VPN. So I'm, I don't really have the uh, connections or place like Taobao or uh, Amazon China to, to purchase any VPN devices to demonstrate. So for this one, uh, you have just to listen to all my uh, PowerPoint and you know uh, me talking all the time. But if you do really do really want some uh, knowledge, you can just go to the docs.microsoft.com to learn more details. So for that part, I'm uh, truly sorry for that. Uh, and we will also be doing some uh, uh, cost discussion like subscription accounts, user groups, and billings, and uh, that will involve the implementing the Azure policies, right? Also, the others like Azure AD, uh, Azure AD Connect, and AD Join. Also, some like the uh, ADP features, right? If you have Azure AD Plan uh, Premium, Plan One, Plan Two, or even the basic one, right? Uh, the free one, of course, we we just ignore it. That's basically nothing. So the the one that you pay we will have this MFA, uh, Azure AD at an AIP, and a self-service password reset. And we'll also talk about the, uh, you know, the last content of the course is uh, import and export services. So it's data box, CDN, and file sync. So uh, uh, folks, you might know, you, if you have some experience moving uh, data into cloud, into uh, SharePoint and OneDrive, you do know there are third-party tools like ShareGate, Methodologics doing that, and also Microsoft has a tool, SharePoint Migration Tool, that's doing this. Uh, but for a large data set, like if you have 10 terabytes or 500 terabytes or even one uh, petabytes, right? That's you cannot use the tool simply to move. It may take you half a year to do that, right? So we we have some solutions here for you to consider. And also we uh, talk about how to monitor the uh, you know the Azure like data gov and also uh, teaching how to use uh, 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 network watcher and. Uh, some security policies and alerts, and logs, and analytics to uh, uh, to help you keep an eye on your uh, resources. So uh, the course was scattered into 12 modules. So from basic Azure administration, we will talk about virtual machines, storage, uh, virtual networking, uh, interset connectivity, monitoring. Uh, so you can see this two here. It's actually a key focus of uh, virtual net uh, virtual network, right? Monitoring data, data protection, network traffic management, Azure AD, security identities, governance and appliance, and data services. And this is the, uh, let's see the weights of each of the sections that will be on the exam, right? So uh, you can see that here the uh, virtual network is considered 30 to 35% of the exam. So one third of the exam, right? It's the large scale, it's very important. The others, uh, they have on the same scale, right? Uh, identities, virtual machines, storage, and uh, resources and subscriptions, right? Uh, okay, that's basically the, my first session uh, here, also my first videos on YouTube as well. So I do have to call out to some of uh, uh, guys I have learned from YouTube. Uh, so uh, that's, uh, I think it's Eli the computer guy or IT free training. So I do learn a lot from those folks. Uh, of of course, some of their videos are a little bit old and uh, not really you know, up to date on this. So, but uh, yeah, they, those guys are really great, and uh, you know, I, I treat them as my mentors for for this. Okay, so that's might be my first session.